Hey everyone, this is Dan. Welcome to a new video. Now, have you ever found yourself jamming a little bit of blues with your friends and found that when you get to the end of the uh, of the progression, you don't really know what to play? Either that or you found that you've been playing the same blues turn around for what seems like an eternity. Well, if any of that is true for you, then hopefully this video will be right up your street. Because today we're going to look at 10 blues turnarounds that I picked up over the years. Some of them will be slight variations on others, and some of the ones I'll have picked up from songs either directly or just have inspiration from. So we're not really going to beat around the bush here. We are going to play the actual turnaround. I'll play through it a little bit slower. We'll provide the tab. I'll talk a little bit about some of them, and that will be it, and then we'll move on. We'll get straight to it okay now if you find this video useful if you enjoy it then give us a like it does help out and also sub if you want to see more videos like this in the future anyway enough of that let's get straight to the first blues turnaround let's go Okay, so all of these turnarounds will be played over that slowish shuffle beat, and they'll either be in the key of E or A. Now, this first turnaround is actually the first one I ever learned in my life. That's why I put it at number one here. And I did learn in E instead of A here. We are going to be playing it in A. It's a little bit more difficult in this key because when you play it in E, you have the open strings to help you when you're shifting. But um, it's a little bit harder when you don't. But you can move it anywhere you like. Sounds like this. Okay, and it would kind of come in here. Okay, so that's just an example of where you would come in for it. It doesn't come in as soon as we hit that A chord, because we start on an E, then go to the D chord, and then hit the A, but there's like a little bit of a beat or so um, before we come in, so hopefully that helped. As I said, we're going to put the tab alongside these on the video, so I'm not going to be going through it note by note. I'll show you the tab, I'll play it slowly, and then hopefully you can pick it up from that. Otherwise, the video will be humongous. Anyway, let's get to the next turnaround. Okay, so this second turnaround here, now this is, has a note that descends, but we have a pedal note on the high E string on the 5th fret, and um, yeah, so we'll descend the note while playing that pedal note, and then we'll hammer on minor to major, outline that A chord before we hit the E chord, and then we'll bend up a note and land on the E note, so it'll sound like this. Okay, and this turnaround starts at exactly the same time as the last turnaround. Okay, so this turnaround has similarities with the last one, in which um, the note that descends at the start is actually the same note, however an octave lower. Now the idea for me for this turnaround came from uh, listening to the song Lagrange by ZZ Top. However, this turnaround is actually just widely used. So we're going to play it again with the tab slowly. Okay, you can finger pick this as well. So after I do that descending part, I just kind of have a little quick pause and then just go into that. Okay. And that's the way that I play that.
Okay, so this next blues turnaround is more in the style of a rocky blues sort of thing. And I, w I would say it would be maybe inspired by someone like Gary Moore. And um, it starts off with these two notes played together, so we're in the key of A. Okay, so we're bending up slightly um, the 7th fret of the B and the 8th fret of the high A. And you'll see someone like Angus Young play this type of thing a lot. But it starts off with that and then it goes into the phrase. It sounds like this with the tab. Okay, so this next turnaround, again, is quite inspired by someone like Gary Moore. You know, if I think of blues rock, he had a, a very much of a blues rock style because his sound was very rocky and um, very powerful. Um, so this includes a lot of those string bends, like the Chuck Berry type things going on. And it's something a little bit different, it's like a bit of a variation on something of, like the last one. So it's, it's just like another turnaround you can add to your arsenal. Let's play it slowly with the tab. Okay, so these next three turnarounds are actually going to have something in common. Now, the first two will be quite easy out of the next three, but it's good to just know these ones. And this one will follow a bass line which actually it will occur quite frequently in a blues turnaround. And it will sound like this if we're in the key of E. <laughs> You can put a little bit of pinch harmonics and that sort of thing if you want. You know, whatever way you want to add a little bit of quirk or feel or energy to the turnaround, you can do what you want. But that will be um, something that you'll hear the bass line do a lot, as I've said already. Okay, so this turnaround is actually basically the opposite of the last one. So in the last turnaround we started on this E note and descended, this one we're going to start on this lowest E note on the guitar and then ascend and it's going to sound like this. Okay, and we're kind of pedaling, not, maybe not pedaling the words, like alternating between the low E and these notes here. And that's the way this works. Again, pretty easy to use, but um, I actually got this turnaround from a song called Walking By Myself by, guess who? Gary Moore. As I said, probably the king in some ways of blues rock kind of sound at least. Okay, so I was talking about how this turnaround and the last two turnarounds had a bit of a link. Now, we're basically combining the notes of the last two turnarounds. Um, and one of them we descend some notes, and the other one we're as ascending some notes. So we're ascending some notes on the E string, on the low E, and then descending on the A string. We don't play them exactly the same as the last two turnarounds, but we kind of alternate the notes and it'll sound like this. <laughs> Now I just think that has a really cool sound, you know, the just sounds really cool to me. Uh, something that I actually, I think I've heard something like this before, but 
I actually, uh, for me, for what I've heard, I came up with it myself for my for myself, but I'm sure it's been done before. But um, I just thought, how about you know, mixing that bass line that goes down with that you know walking by myself um, guitar turning on that goes upwards, and I thought it sounded pretty cool. Okay, so this next turnaround I would say is inspired by someone like Stevie Ray Vaughan, who often would use a lot of these open strings to hammer on, pull off, and do a few blues curls or bends, if you will. And you know, um, he would often play some turnarounds like this. And then we also end it in an interesting way, which uh, we slide into the fifth and then the higher up third of the um, of the B chord, the B major chord. We don't play any root notes, but we just slide in, and it sounds really nice. Sounds like this, with the tab. So, yeah, that little ending there where you can slide up using those, um, I think that is another good thing to take away from this turnaround. Um, those little blues curls, hammer-ons, pull-offs, I also notice when I'm pulling off, when I'm doing this, kind of like a That's another thing to take away, um, when we use those pull-offs and hammer-ons, a lot of them are kind of ghost notes that we quickly pull off from, so we're not necessarily going We're going Or Not Okay, there's a difference a kind of ghost hammer-ons, or the note that we hammer on from is like a ghost note, which means that it's kind of it's kind of heard, but it's not the it's not the focus. It's more to create a bit of flair, or you know, how hard to explain it really. It's just a feel sort of thing that you get from playing that way. So a lot of these hammer-ons and pull-offs are kind of really quick, and they add shape to the uh, actual lick. That's what I would call it, shape maybe. Okay, so this last turnaround is kind of cool because we're just descending using sixth intervals and it's very different to the other turnarounds that we played. Sounds like this slowly with the tab. Now that ending, by the way, you can go... You can hammer on and use that minor to major. Now those last two notes here outlining that B major chord, okay, which is the chord that we will end the turnaround on, and I spoke about this before, uh, where we can use these six intervals where we can move up or down, I've made other videos on this, but this is a nice way to use that within a turnaround, I think it sounds really cool, and feel free to use it in different keys, as with all of these turnarounds. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you found this video of some use, feel free to hit that like button. And also, give us a sub if you're not, if you're not already subbed and you want to see more like this. I'll see you next time. Have fun. Take care. Good times. <laughs>